Map fans, it's been a while. I've left you hanging with this horrible looking map for long enough. And if you cast your minds back to the last video on OS maps, we were looking at how we can get OS data in for free. And we were left with this awful looking map. So what we will do is look at how we can style this map and make it look a little bit nicer. Now, of course, we could just turn off layers and leave some nicer looking stuff around, but it still doesn't look like an OS map. So how do we solve that? Well, the easiest way to do it is go straight to the horse's mouth and let's have a word with the Ordnance Survey. Those lovely people at the Ordnance Survey have done us a real favor and they have a GitHub page. If you're not familiar with GitHub, get familiar with it. It's really good. Very useful versioning service for all your coding needs. So if we scroll through this, you can see there is a huge amount of stuff in the GitHub page for the OS. As you'd expect, it's a large organization and we were dealing with vector map and the district layers. So we want the style sheets for that. If I click on this link, that takes us into the repository and you can see we've got different types of style sheets. The ones that we're working with, uh, we were working with shape files, so we actually want those and we'll just have a click through, see what these look like. We got three different styles of style sheets in here. We've got the LYR, which will work with ArcGIS, Esri platform. We also have the GeoServer SLDs, which will work with GeoServer, obviously. And we also have the QMLs, and that's what we're after because we're doing this in QGIS. So if we just go back, uh, then we can clone or download this repository and a quick click on this will allow us to download the zip and that is what I would like to do. Now we can save the zip file. I'm just going to save it in uh, my demo folder. I've already got it, so it's going to ask if I want to replace it. Yes, I would like to replace it. And that is downloaded. So let's have a look at what these look like. Here I am in my folder that I downloaded these uh, style sheets to, and we've got a zip file. So I'm just going to unzip that. Very basic procedure. And I will extract here. Lots of things to extract, and that'll make our folder here. So now I can have a look at the OS vector map folder and you can see it's got the same structure as we saw on github so if i go into esri shapefile there's my qgis style sheets qml we've got two different types in here backdrop which is kind of faded out so that you can use these styles uh, if you're using the os map as a background a background to something or you've got full color which will pop nice okay so let's apply these style sheets Back in queue, looking at our offensively styled map, we have a lot going on here, and it would be nice to apply these styles, clean it up, make it look a little bit more OS. So our pink spots look like name places, and they're causing most of the clutter at the moment, so I'll start with those. So let's go to name place. I'm going to double click it to open up its style properties. There we go. And down at the bottom here, we have the style button. So if I click that, I can just go to load style and that opens up a browser. Now I'll just go back a couple of spaces here so that we can see where we are. This is where I downloaded the style sheets to. I unzip them here. And if I double click into this folder, this should start to look familiar. Esri shapefile style sheets and then the QGIS ones. I'm going to go for full color because, well, why wouldn't you? And once we get in here, you can see all these QMLs. And the QML that we want at the moment, we're in name places. So where is my name place? There it is. If I apply that style sheet, apply that. Oh, less clutter immediately. Still very cluttered, but it's less. So I'm going to go through and apply more of these and you can see what our map will look like. Phew, that took a while, but it was worth it. Now look at what we've got. 
This is beginning to look a lot more Ordnance Survey and it's quite light but that's alright because once you zoom in you start to see that things are looking a lot more like the maps we grew up with if you're in the UK of course. So this is pretty cool from having no data we have all of a sudden a whole area of the UK mapped out in our GIS looking just like an OS map which is brilliant. Now the observant amongst you may have noticed that some features have more than one layer style. Have a think about that, why might it be? And if you've enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Next time we'll give you the answer to why some features have more than one style associated with them. But in the meantime, as always, happy mapping.